Hello, my name is Honesty, and I need help getting my ex-boyfriend back because we are not on good terms right now. I'm not going to lie, lie. When we did get back in contact with each other, I was chasing him a little bit, and then he started becoming distant, and I admit that I shouldn't have done that. We used to be together for four years, and then he broke up with me because I lied to him one time, and now he has a hard time trusting me, but I regret that I lied to him that one time. So honesty, thanks for being so honesty with us. <laughs> God, that was nerdy. Uh, thanks for being so honest with us. You know, getting back with an ex can be a very, very difficult thing, and, and you want to make sure that you're playing your cards right. And one of the most important things that you can possibly do when getting back together with an ex or before you get back together with an ex is to rebuild your confidence and do something that I call taking your power back. And when you take your power back, basically what you're doing is you're rebuilding your life. You're creating a separate identity from him, right? Because when you, when you get into a relationship and you're dating each other and you're, and you're together with each other, what happens is you start doing all these things together. You start envisioning your life being together, right? And what that does is it creates a one shared identity. And what you have to do when you break up is what ends up happening is it feels like you've lost a piece of yourself. And, and researchers have said that it's almost kind of like, it's, it's very similar to what a drug addict goes through when he's going, when he stops taking drugs and starts going through withdrawals. Researchers have also said that it's very similar to what happens when someone loses a significant person in their life from death, right? So somebody in their, in their family dies. It's, it's very similar, right? You lose a part of yourself, you lose a part of your identity. And so what you have to do is take your power back. You have to rebuild your sense of self. You have to rebuild your sense of identity. You have to start creating empowering emotional feelings in yourself. Because what ends up happening is, is when you go through a breakup and somebody breaks up with you, you lose power in the relationship, right? And so you're the one trying to get back together and you're trying to make things happen. And if you're coming from that space of trying to make things happen and trying to get back together and trying to push things, what's going to end up happening is that he's going to be far less attracted to you because of that. And so what you need to do is put yourself into a really powerful position. Make sure you're coming from a mental space where you believe that you deserve a great relationship. And then when you get back into a situation where you're connecting with him, then you're coming from a space where you're not totally attached to making it work because it's when you're super attached to making it work that it doesn't. It's, it's very counterintuitive, but that's, that's usually how it works. You're trying to make things happen. You're trying to make things happen. And so it doesn't work, which is why you're chasing him. And so what you need to do is chill out, lean back, relax, you know, pull back, make sure that, that you've worked on yourself and built yourself back up. I have a whole program as far as the whole lying thing. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's one of those things where it's going to end up coming up at some point and you'll have to discuss it and talk about it, but really trust is built through the hard times. It's not built during the easy times, right? It's built in situations where you are, you need to do something to earn his trust, right? That's when trust is built is when you're put into a situation where you, where you could betray his trust, but you don't, right? That's when trust is built. And so it, it will come back up, especially if he doesn't trust you as much now because of whatever kind of lie you made to him. I don't know how big of a lie or small of a lie it is, but you just want to make sure that you get back into a situation where you're connecting with him and you're coming from a place of power. That way he's not, uh, he's not losing attracted to you, attraction for you. And he's not really that interested. He is interested. He just wants to make sure that he's putting himself into a situation with you where he can trust you. And so that's the situation you want to be coming from.